Hi, welcome to Artificial Neural Network example. In uh, Artificial Neural Network, we will have the uh, input layer, uh, hidden layer and output layer. Here, for a simple uh, example, I have taken only single neuron. That single neuron is taking two inputs. X1 is 0.1, X2 is 0.3. So, two input, two features, two features. Uh, then uh, here as as we have discussed neuron is having two functions one is summation of uh, uh, summation function and another one is the activation function so here in the for each connection we will assign the weights w1 is 0.5 w is w2 is 0.2 then bias value bias input is here plus 1 the bias value is 1.83 then we will uh, apply that summation function summation function is here g1 equal to w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus bias plus bias so here the actual output is given in the data set now we will apply the uh, values to the equation substitute the values in the equation w1 is uh, uh, w1 is uh, 0 0.5 then uh, w1 is 0 0.5 then x1 is 0 0.1 then x2 is 0 0.3 then uh, w2 is 0 0.2 w2 is 0 0.2 then bias value is given 1.83 input for the bias is here 1 when you are substituting the values you will get the 1.94 so now the g value is calculated then you have to apply the activation function sigmoid function when you are applying the sigmoid function 1 divided by 1 plus e power uh, g 1.9 uh, here g is 1.94 that is calculated here then we when you are applying that values you will get finally 0 0.874 so that is the output of this neuron sigmoid of g1 equal to 0 0.87 0 0.87 now we have to calculate the uh, error so error or loss or cost how will you calculate actual output is already given 0 0.03 and predicted output is 0 0.87 now we will calculate the error so that error is here we are getting 0 0.3564 right so here again uh, uh, we will ca calculate the next step fourth step is we have to go for uh, backward propagation to uh, compute the new parameter values for w1 w2 and b so w1 is 2 is here w1 and b so we have to update this parameter by applying the backward propagation backward propagation so here we will use the learning rate the learning rate value is here we are taking as a 0 0.01 and notations are given a1 is the predicted output and b is already given w1 w2 actual output is 0 0.03 so based on that when you are applying the error so here we will uh, this is uh, got from 0 0.87 uh, minus 0 0.35 divided by 2 right this is what we have got now when you are uh, applying the uh, backward propagation for dot w1 again you have to go from here this is the a1 we got right so then from the a1 we got j j is error okay so here what you have to do from this you can go backward direction here this is the a1 this one is uh, g then you are having w1 w2 so when you are going backward you simply say error divided by uh, do a1 and the chain rule so the do a1 next term is this one do a1 divided by do g1 then g1 is depends on here first we can take for the w1 so w1 so we have written that is the term we have given here so when you are applying the partial derivation with respect to this so do j so here the uh, the j uh, i mean error function is here our error function is here 1 by 2 
the yeah, actual output actual output is here represented by y and predicted output is the a1 predicted output is the a1 whole square when you are applying the uh, derivation uh, partial de de derivation with respect to do a1 you will get so uh, 1 by 2 into 2 into y minus a1 then this is depends upon the a1 so when you are uh, applying the partial derivation to a1 you will get the minus 1 then uh, when you are uh, simplifying that you will get this one so finally this is the actual output uh, we already we given in the uh, data set then now predicted output is uh, we uh, predicted output we got here 0 0.874 so that's what uh, given here so finally we are getting 0 0.844 likewise we have to calculate next term do a1 divided by do z1 so here g1 is already we are having the equation here w1 x1 plus b1 so when you are applying the uh, with respect to uh, here um, do a1 sorry so this equation a1 is here um, a1 is here given with uh, a1 is here sigma 1 over 1 plus e power minus z so when you are applying this when you are applying this you will pass derivation with respect to do a1 divided by do z1 so this is the z1 right when you are applying you will get the equation this one then you will substitute the values here you will get the 0 0.013 then uh, for, for do z1 divided by do w1 this terminology so when you are applying this here with respect to do w1 so this will become 0 this will become 0 for this terminology you will get uh, only the x1 because do w1 this one will become 1 so x1 will get the coefficient so x1 value is given here finally we are substituting values for all this terminology so you will get the 0 0.00 165 so like that we have to calculate for do j divided by do w2 and do j divided by do b so do j divided by do w2 again you have to start from here so this is the uh, a1 this is j uh, we have to call uh, this is output a1 then here you have we will you will calculate the j so you have to come backward so do j divided by this a1 then do a1 divided by here g is available so g1 then do g1 divided by here we are going to calculate for the w2 so w2 that's what given here then already we have calculated the do j divided by do a1 substituted do a1 by divided by do g1 also we have calculated and uh, here do g1 divided by uh, do w2 uh, one this one is one okay so here uh, when uh, when you are substituting this values uh, we will get so previously we have calculated dot w1 so this is dot w2 sorry this is dot w2 so here also dot w2 right so here dot w2 when you are calculating this term will become zero this term will become zero only this term can be uh, differentiated so when you are differentiating with respect to w2 x2 will become so x2 is the value so here you will get the 0 0.3 so when you are substituting all these values you will get the 0 0.034 likewise you have to calculate for the do j divided by do b so do j divided by do a1 calculated uh, this is also already calculated now you have to calculate the do j1 do g1 divided by do b so here when you are uh, applying the do b so this term will become zero this term will become zero here when you are applying the differentiation this term will become b will become one so that's what given here then you are substituting the values you will get 0 0.013 so now we have to update the new parameter new parameter w1 equal to old parameter value 0 0.5 that's what given here 0 0.5 minus learning rate already we have taken alpha equal to 0 0.01 then this is the value calculated dot j divided by dot w1 uh, that is what 0 0.0011 so that is substituted here 0 0.0011 so we will get new value earlier it was 0 0.5 now it is updated into 
0.49 likewise w2 substituting the values you will get the 0.19 so earlier it was 0.2 now new value 0.19 likewise update the b when you are updating the b so b is calculated uh, that gradient value that is given here and when you are applying this dou j divided by dou b actually this is 0 0.013 365 this value 0 0.01380 uh, right so when you are applying this you will get this value okay 1.82 previously it was 1.83 so now uh, you have got here 0 0.19 here 0 0.49 here uh, 1.82 again you perform the forward propagation then you will get some error again if it is not close to zero again you perform the backward propagation like that until you are getting uh, convergence until you are getting convergence or that convergence in the sense for three consecutive uh, iterations if you get same error value then you can stop the algorithm thanks for watching